right guys well you probably are tuning in from the live stream and we are now getting ready to go onto the ATV it's been a while since I've been on ATV you can see the smile in my face it's really been a while we're gonna get on this thing right here it's definitely not one of those trick ATVs but it's still an ATV so it's gonna be fun I'm gonna take you guys on the ride then we gotta go into the greenhouses I'm gonna show you what they do every day what I'm helping them do every single day this is gonna be the beginning of a playlist called life at the farm with the Josie show so hopefully you guys enjoy we're here in Syracuse New York it's snowing we have an ATV and about to go Uh oh Oh no So we just got done ATV in and now we're gonna go check on plants. Magical plants, check it. Look, look. It's a typical day at the farm, guys. I know YouTube doesn't have a smell aroma, it should, but all this stuff needs to be trimmed still. And these are all the plants drying. Still a little wet. If you bend them, you try to break it here, see how it doesn't snap. Mm -hmm. it means it's still wet. Oh wow, yeah, I didn't even... You want to get it right before it snaps. Right before it snaps, nice. I've learned so much about plants recently, guys, it's insane. And Sarah knows her shit, man, so... If you do do a little green bud, it's feeling the part. Oh wow, you can just... You can just see, here, look at it. See? Oh my god, they're amazing. Nice. I wish we had more time to get the fan leaves off. These are more ready. Probably another two days. Yep. I like definitely, yeah, you, yeah, you can just, hey guys, just can feel them too. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's See? actually snaps, and this one's more. Huh? Yep. But these are some big buds here. Holy shit, look at this. Those are our Jupiters, too. Wow. You can feel this right back. And it's not moldy or anything, is it? Nope. No. Oh, wow. That is. Go right in there and see. That is fucking See amazing. that green? Yeah, I see it from yep. a. That's what you want. Just the, just the browning or good signs of molding, like trichome development and profile is perfect, and then aroma, you can always smell it. Yeah. And, and especially it's like a, being a wine connoisseur, you know, you can, it, it's sometimes hard for certain people to be able to smell mold, but for me, I can smell it from like a mile away. Um, but I mean, for, for somebody who's not really sure in easy ways, you go up and you look for the trichome development, you want those good white pops. Yeah. When you see hairs around them, like hairs coming through, and you're like, oh, look at those trichomes, it's actually hair, it's mold build up. Oh, and shit. it's starting to generate and then you'll see whites and certain reds and blacks and get rid of it so you'll see hairs coming out near the trichomes and it'll look fuzzy and dark kind of like bud rot or bud burn mm -hmm. but it's it's really mold starting so you want green green and white trichomes green and white little tip guys green and white if you're growing you shouldn't yeah. be growing if you live in amsterdam but not this much if you're growing this much in amsterdam people you need to hit me up because uh we need to like cut or hit Sarah up, yeah, hit Sarah up, because if you guys are growing, you need to grow like her. She knows the entire thing, man. I want some shit from Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this one's ready, like, break that. Go ahead, ready? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You hear this, you actually hear the crack, yeah. 
No, like it's, it's not. Stick, it's not true. It's getting there. You want that down. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Like that one too. Probably this section right here. Let's see. Yeah, let's. So we're good. You never want to go above 70 degrees. That's how mold festers. And I preferably like to stay between 55 and 60 for humidity. Ooh. Guys, I wish you could smell Air right now. Oh my God. It smells so nice in here right now, huh? Oh. It smells like heaven. It's not a song. I think that's a song. That's crazy though. Like. This is Jupiter too, or this is the other one? Yep, that's the Jupiter. Wow, Jupiter really has some like... Great profiles, great color profiles, and it just stacks. And if we could have like uh, defoliated more, like uh -huh. we lollipoped everything, but if we could have defoliated more and focused on it, because we did everything, it's very labor intensive crop. But if we had more time to defoliate more, focus the energy up and get solid co colas, like uh, our profile, it just would have been Stacked. Yeah, it's already so stacked. Would, for me, out in the field, I would have ripped all this out, cut these off, not even had these branches, focused on these four. Uh -huh. Center colas, focus the energy there, and just do 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 do. It's still beautiful, all great. You know, green, solid, no signs oh, yeah. of brown, white, and, and great medicine. Free to vets. <laughs> and all of this we still have to trim, guys. All right, and while Sarah and Jennifer are still clearing out the barn, we're going to go ahead and start trimming these buds. If you don't know what trimming the bud means, basically you have to separate the bud from the stick, which would be like right here. You make sure it's not moldy, of course, and then you cut it and you put it in a separate bin because you don't want the sticks. And as you see, these are some nice, nice hemp buds. So we're basically gonna trim all of these, including these over here, including these. And then, like I said, we have to go into here and take all the plants out of there. All the ones that are hanging, all the ones that are here need to be put into boxes and eventually they will also be put into here, which is all the complete boxes. And if you guys could actually smell, there's a light switch somewhere up. And if you guys could actually smell how nice it smells in here, although it's not THC, you can't get stoned if you actually smoke this. Hold up. And it just smells so nice in here, guys. I could live in this room. Anyways, let's get to trimming. All right, guys, welcome to hemp trimming. You wanna always take the hemp first, take a nice look at it, make sure it's not moldy. Don't drop it, first of all. Just take a nice look. You see here? Smells really good. Since it has been inspected, I'm gonna to switch to a time lapse, and you're gonna see this bin fill up in three, two, one. Look at this bush. This bush right here is gonna be nice. Very nice, I like it very much. How much you want to pay? You wanna cut right at the stem. You don't wanna have the stick. You know how big these buds are? That's because Sarah knows what she's doing, guys. You wanna check that there's no mold, then you cut. Check, no mold, and then you cut. Check, no mold, then cut. <laughs> 